Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. After it was mostly about Intel and Nvidia this year so far, it seems like Team Red is finally waking up from its winter slumber to compete with new tech for your hard earned cash. This is the latest iteration of Asus's mid-range tough lineup and as such it will be available in a crazy amount of configurations. The A16 I got right here in front of me is the all AMD middle of the road approach, both when it comes to pricing and performance. While we had a first look at AMD's all new Zen 4 flagship last week, both the GPU and CPU in this one are actually refreshes of what was available in 2022. So while the A16 might not offer groundbreaking performance surprises, it might still offer a great overall laptop experience. And without wanting to spoil the rest of the video too much, you might want to stay seated until our battery test. Alright my fellow gamers, let's have a closer look at this puppy. Our review sample comes with the Ryzen 7 7735HS, which is a refresh of last year's 6800HS but with higher clock speeds and TDP settings. The RX 7600S, 16GB of DDR5-4800 memory and a 1TB SSD. Everything you're doing is rendered on a 16-inch 16x10 16 Full HD panel that refreshes at a speedy 165Hz and supports AMD's FreeSync. Not too much has changed compared to last year's model and the TUF still retains its mostly plastic body with a metal lid. The chassis feels very rigid and high quality with only minimal flex overall and the lid is very well adjusted and does not bend or wobble extensively. While the TUF lineup is very gaming focused as well, the A16 looks almost clean for a gamer and will not give you any weird cleanses in the office or even in school or university. Regarding ports, you will be alright if you are right handed and in trouble when you prefer your left hand. Asus crammed most of the very generous IO towards the left front side once again. And here you can find two USB-C's, 3.2 Gen 2, HDMI 2.1, RJ45, the power connector, the audio combo board and a single USB-A 3.2 Gen 1. All you get on the left side is an additional USB-A. If you prefer to do your game downloads via Wi-Fi, you might want to bring an extra bit of patience, since Wi-Fi transfers are only average. Most of the competition offers much faster numbers here overall. That said, maintenance is easy enough if you want to swap out the card later on, and in addition you have access to two SODEM and NVMe slots. The keyboard reveals the more mid-range or sometimes even budget-focused orientation of the TUF series, but even keeping that in mind, it is in no way a bad keyboard. While I personally can see myself getting used to this one rather quickly, it does not offer the most precise or tactile feedback. And my colleague Florian, who did the original review on the website, would have preferred a crisper feel overall. So it really depends on where you are coming from individually, but I would assume most of you will get used to the feel of this one rather quickly. That said, the layout might take some time to get used to, since some keys ended up being on the smaller side, like the arrow or F keys for example. The touchpad offers no real reason to complain and worked fine during our testing. In the display department the A16 has a lot to offer, despite the rather disappointing brightness numbers. The 165Hz Full HD panel offers very good contrast and uniformity, pretty decent color gamut coverage for a mid-range gaming panel and is even well calibrated from the factory. In addition, the panel is fast enough even for some competitive shooters. So while the TUF is also available with a slightly more premium QHD panel, if you do not need the higher res or color gamuts, this might actually be the better option. Alright guys, let's finally talk about performance. We did our testing in the performance mode for the TUF A16, even though opting for the turbo profile would have offered higher scores overall. We will discuss our reasoning for this later when we show you our noise samples, but for now, let me just say you should only use turbo mode if you are by yourself and have a good pair of headphones at hand. Regarding CPU performance, the 7735HS is an 8-core processor with 60MB of L3 cache manufactured in the 6nm process. All cores are hyper-threaded for a total of 16 threads and clock speeds range from 3.2 all the way up to 4.75GHz. In our combined performance rating, the refreshed Zen 3 Plus chip sits somewhere in the middle between last year's offerings. So very much like with Intel's Raptor Lake lineup, the really interesting stuff is only happening at the high end, as is shown by AMD's Dragon Range CPUs. 
That said, the A16 is no slouch and offers decent performance, considering the price point. You just have to decide for yourself if you need more CPU performance for your applications. System performance and the overall subjective feel for this one is excellent. You just have to get used to the occasional freeze when the system switches between the GPUs, which is due to AMD's advanced Optimus alternative Smart Access Graphics. It's not a big deal, but something to be aware of. Before we talk about the GPU in more detail, please be aware that we have a lot more data available about the A16 for you in our written review. So if you want to do some digging in individual benchmark numbers or read up on drive performance for example, please follow the link in the description below. The RX 7600S is a great fit for the CPU and the mid-range nature of the TUF in general. The mid-range mobile chip offers 8 gigs of video memory and sits again somewhere in the middle between everything that is available right now. While it can outperform last year's AMD chips, Nvidia's RTX 4060 is quite a bit ahead. That said, models with those GPUs will be significantly more expensive, so just keep that in mind as well. By the way, we have affiliate links in the description with updated pricing. In the real world, the new GPU leaves a mixed impression overall, with sometimes considerable and sometimes only minor improvements compared to last year's offerings, as is shown by our performance rating. That said, the ASUS delivers a great overall 1080p gaming experience, and you can actually take advantage of the high refresh rate at high or even max settings. Playable frame rates and QHD are achievable as well, should you own an external screen alongside the A16. When it comes to fan noise, the TUF offers the usual gaming laptop experience, but the amount of noise is relatively easily controllable. If you want it to be whisper quiet during light loads, just put it in silent. If you want to game with moderate noise levels, choose the performance mode, and if you want all the frames, well, grab your headphones and dial things to 11 in turbo mode. We took some noise samples for you in different scenarios, so you can get an idea yourself. Before we wrap things up, let's actually talk about one of the highlights of the A16. This gaming laptop right here in front of me offers battery runtimes that rival even some of the longest lasting low powered ultrabooks on the market. In our standard Wi-Fi test, this one offers a little more over 12 hours, which is simply insane for a gaming laptop. So if you want this to be your big screen typing and work machine by day without the need to bring your charger and gamer by night, well, it is a very hard to find and very unique combo. All right, my fellow gamers, it's time to wrap this up. The TUF A16 might not offer a groundbreaking performance uplift compared to what was available last year. So should you own an RTX 3060 laptop or something with a mid-range AMD GPU from 2022, you are set when it comes to performance. But if you are in the market for a well-rounded mid-range gaming or even work laptop that isn't as crazy overpriced as even some RTX 4060 laptops, well, this one might be worth a closer look. As always, if you want to dive deeper into anything I just talked about, please head over to our website. If you liked the video, please give us your thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. That would be it for today. My name is Alex, you have been fantastic, thanks a ton for watching and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.